This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. David Munchie? How did this... What is this? Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... It was freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed, I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, uh, maser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the ARC project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy.
is that mainframe connection. This is where I would store the ARC scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense, less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. Damaged. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. Thanks, Stromeyer. That's a real helpful report. Be quiet. The proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanations anywhere. That sounds like a warning.
Good job, Simon. This better have worked. 
I'm not going down there again. Legacy scan of me that was on the computer. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence pathway already etched into the base. So if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon. Don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines, thinking they are people, is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. anyone who could know a security cipher. We need someone from Theta Security Group. either. Look for security people at Kronstadt or Stromeyer. Very promising. I'll just load him up and get the simulator going. There we are. What are we doing exactly? We're going to have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? How did I get here? Welcome back, Mr. Wan. Dr. Chen, is that you? What happened? What is this place? Just be calm. Take a deep breath and enjoy the scenery for a moment. Dr. Chun? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one here! It's empty. It's too empty. There's something really wrong with this place. It's not real! This isn't real! I have to get out of here! Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean, he's a perfect scan, meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. I really thought that was gonna work. Maybe we can try again.
That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? What is this? Where am I? Everything is okay, Mr. Wan. Just relax. Dr. Chun? What the hell is this place? I need a favor. I need to know what the new security cipher is. Why are you doing this? Is this some trick? I'm not giving you anything. Please, we really need that cipher. No, you're lying. This is all a lie. Look at this place. It's a fucking joke. Get me out of here, Charo. Punch your teeth in! Do we need to turn it off? Can we just keep them alive until we've got the cipher? The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So, what's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Mr. Wan. Chun? What happened? I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. There's no need to worry. No, no, that, that's a lie. You're lying. Mr. Wan, I need you to stay calm. No, 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 no. Well, why, are you, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! I think we need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right. We need to think this through. We need some more data. Here we go, Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. So, you're not worried that there are others? If we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. A letter from someone named Alice. They were together during the scan. You know her? He was close with Coster. I would not have expected that. Can we use that somehow? Mm, keep looking. Cute. Alice and Brandon were definitely together during the scan. Good to know. Maybe we can use that somehow. Straskin, I'll borrow to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs, and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. I think I just heard Alice talking to Brandon on the intercom. Seems like they were getting ready to leave. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. Great, this is exactly what we need. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Great. Definitely feeling good about this. Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile.
I compiled the Nalus module that we can use. So she'll be able to the simulation. Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. <laughs>